Hello, my name is Glenn Reichert, and I'd like to talk to you about an opportunity, an opportunity to connect some of the 17 million Americans who are not connected to the internet, to the internet. We call this part of our Smart and Connected Community Program at US Ignite, Project Overcome. And Project Overcome is an opportunity for a number of you watching to be able to make a difference in your community by connecting the unconnected. Uh, you can take a note there of my email address. It's glenn.reichert at us-ignite.org. So who is US Ignite? It's a 501c3, it's a nonprofit I started about eight years ago. It's really a nonprofit, which means that it's capable of accepting donations from uh, um, you and making having them be tax deductible. It's accelerating the smart city movement and creates value for an entire ecosystem. We try to work with communities. A community can be a city, a, a uh, innovation district, a state, a county, uh, any kind of a geographic area, region that is interested in working together to be able to provide for smart services in that area. So we help to guide communities into the connected future. And of course, Project Overcome is all about making that connection, creating a path for private sector growth. We're happy to work with for-profit partners in doing this and advancing the technology research that's at the heart of smart city development. You may have heard of US Ignite as being the program office for the $100 million advanced wireless research uh, uh, project in the United States. Half of that is funded by the National Science Foundation. The other half is funded by a consortium, an industry consortium, which US Ignite has helped to assemble. But this opportunity is not necessarily wireless. This is connecting the unconnected. We call it Project Overcome. Everything that you need to know about this project is at this URL, us-ignite.org, that's the organization. It's one of our programs, it's the newest program, and it's at usignite.org slash programs slash overcome. Now Project Overcome is about selecting five communities nationally who will connect their unconnected in creative ways. So what's a creative way of connecting the unconnected? Something that isn't obvious and already there. So we're not just going to buy Wi-Fi hotspots. We're not just going to um, connect people to the existing lifeline services. Sh these things should already be happening. We're looking for things that are going to be interesting, different. And I've just made up three of them here. You don't have to have one of these three. Use your own imagination, do something interesting. But how about fiber self-install that people can do themselves that doesn't require a contractor? Maybe can we get farm equipment to uh, micro-trench fiber? Can we put it in from one farm to another to another farm and be able to make our own fiber mesh network? Just making this up. Use your imagination. Do the right thing. String it on poles. Bury it. Uh, run it through sewers. Whatever you think is the appropriate way. Or use wireless. Uh, TV white space is good, especially in mountainous areas, because it'll go around some corners. 700 megahertz is what T-Mobile is using for their 5G rollout. So there is a lot of uh, spectrum available in this TV white space. That's another option that you could go and uh, propose to use. That would require FCC approval. Uh, we would do our best to help you get those FCC approvals if you apply. Uh, CBRS has been widely touted recently. There's been an auction of that spectrum. There is a general access agreement for uh, being able to use the spectrum without a, light, a formal license. So maybe GAA spectrum would be very useful, uh, maybe even in some urban areas of the Mountain West. So that would be another way that you could get reasonably high power internet to, to folks. Again, this is not a list to be chosen from. This is only to spark your imagination so you think of even better ways, more creative ways of connecting the unconnected. Anything that is going to help reduce the number of unconnected folks and do so in a way that's not already obvious is going to um, be able to rank pretty well. US Ignite is going to select five pilot communities and provide each one of them with up to $300,000 from the National Science Foundation via US Ignite. There's a one-year timeline to spend that money and to use it to connect the unconnected in those communities. We want 
you to work together with community-based organizations. What's a community-based organization? School, library, municipality, uh, county government, um, county fire department, um, organizations which are already there to help serve people can serve as anchor institutions and partners, churches, uh, whatever you can think of that have a public centric purpose, work with them, form a coalition, get the right folks together. And for-profit companies are perfectly uh, capable of being great partners. Maybe you can find an existing ISP that would like to extend to the unconnected and you can help them get to those unconnected. We'd be glad to have them be part of the partnership. So we're looking for things that will create social impact. So we want these connected folks to be able to better access education, better, better access uh, telehealth. Those are the things we want to see a social impact on. U.S. Ignite will have a couple of social scientists who will work with the five pilot winning communities to be able to do this. We're working together with other existing organizations in this space, the National Digital Inclusion Alliance, the Institute for Local Self-Reliance, the Internet Society, they all have websites with ideas for how to connect folks, next century cities through municipal networks. Uh, any of these or other folks who can help, we're eager for you to go and put together coalitions, partnerships to be able to make this work. Now, of course, we all hope that it doesn't end with five pilot communities. We'd like to see everyone in America connected, but these are just five pilot efforts. And if we can get these five pilot efforts going, maybe we can use their experiences to bootstrap a lot more efforts throughout the United States. So that's what we're really trying to do at US Ignite. We're trying to get enough people connected in creative ways that it becomes a rolling ball that gathers lots of energy and connects everybody who's unconnected. Again, my name is Glenn Reichert. The uh, information is at us-ignite.org slash program slash overcome. Let me give you a couple of dates. There's going to be a webinar for those who are interested in applying. That's on November 10th at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. Proposals are due on January 8th, 2021 at 3 p.m. Mountain Time. Look forward to some great proposals from the people watching right here. Help your communities be better connected. Thanks very much.